Hi YouTube, Tui Zero, FNM, back again with another video. Today I wanted to do a shack tour video. So uh, I'm not sure if you saw my last one about a year ago. Uh, a few things have changed now. Uh, notably, I've got rid of the gateways, uh, MB6 IFR and MB6 FR, uh, which was a Fusion and a D-Star gateway. Uh, they were really not getting used at all towards the end. Um, so basically, I, I didn't, you know, it was pointless me having them having them running. There's also a Fusion uh, repeater and a D Star repeater, sort of local to us. So I, I suppose people just use those, uh, and lots of people just use hotspots now. So I got rid of the um, what was it? It was a, an FTM 100D and a HRI 200 and a Yesu 7800, which was the D Star one. Um, and then I got rid of the Alinco DR135. Um, and the B300P and I got myself a Yesu FT991 so yeah fantastic really really good radio bit of a bad rep on the 991 uh, apparently there were issues with the finals not being adjusted properly and um, you know but I took the chance because I've got the HF Jedi uh, G0 HIJ big shout out to Wayne uh, took it to Wayne's house to uh, to double check the finals and yes they were wrong uh, and yes the thing would have probably blown up they were they were quite out um, so we adjusted the finals and now they're absolutely sweet. Uh, no problems at all. We had a look inside. It's really, really clean and tidy inside. So uh, all in all, fantastic. And I do love the 991. What a fantastic radio. Uh, in fact, I use that more than the 7300. Um, so yeah, I just thought I'd do an update really. I'm going to show you in the garden, you know, basically the antennas that I've got. It's basically the same as last time, uh, but a bit of an update. As I say, they've been out like, a, 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 you know, a, a good year since the last update. Uh, so I'll show you in the garden, uh, refresh your memories, uh, and I'll take you around the shack. A couple of new additions there I can show you. Um, so like, if you're anything like me, I love watching shack tour videos. I love watching other people's shacks, seeing what other people have, you know. Um, mine's a very small space, you know, you might think, God, that's so small, I don't know how you deal with it. Um, some people's shacks are massive, you know, radios all over the place, you know, really, really good. Um, but, you know, everyone's different. Mine's very simple, but it does everything I need to do. So without further ado, let's take a look around the shack. Right, so there's my little, uh, my little corner of paradise. Um, so that's my, my, my little shack there. So uh, I got this for my 40th birthday. I'm not sure if that was in the last time. Um, but yeah, my wife got me that for my 40th birthday. Absolutely fantastic neon sign. Uh, really looks the part in, in the corner there. Uh, this shelf at the top is absolute a uh, disaster. So you know what I mean? I suppose everybody in, uh, has a part of the shack where it's just full of crap. Loads of rubbish all over the place. Um, that's I keep all my microphones, a couple of old Raspberry Pis. You know, just like me, me sort of log book, uh, me old antenna, just all sorts of rubbish up there. Um, also, uh, Wayne G Zero HIJ. I keep shouting Wayne out, don't I? He's uh, he's going to get a big head. Um, but yeah, the Icom seventy three hundred. Uh, I got a few brochures in here. Um, Wayne went to the uh, rig rally. Uh, is it Newark? Uh, and he got me a few brochures and the hat that you saw me on the intro. So he got me that hat as well. Um, it's nice to keep these things. Um, so he got me a, a Yesu 101 MP. Uh, just a couple of the things that are really interested in getting. Um, goals, definite goals. The 101 MP. One. I mean, the MP is probably useless for my uh, my license level, but um, it's just the one I'd want to get if I could. So yeah, that's the shack. Um, this is my uh, HyperX um, microphone. Obviously I don't use this for ham radio. I do a lot of PC gaming. I also stream on Twitch. So if you if you want to find me on Twitch, it's just m 6 eb on Twitch. You're more than welcome to come and say hello. You know, you might not be into gaming, so that's absolutely fine. I don't mention it that often, but usually on a Friday, Saturday night, uh, I usually uh, stream over there playing just, you know, rubbish games really, just passing the time of day. Um, so let's let me just get me me seat. So, yeah, that's the the PC. If you're interested, um, the PC I use is a, a Ryzen 7 3700X, 32 gig of RAM, and an RTX 2080 Super. Um, so that's basically it. This is a sensor panel. Um, just tells me all the information about the uh, frames per second, uh, temperatures. I've covered a little bit of it because it shows my IP address on there as well. And then the Messi and Poloni, when they sent me the stuff to review, uh, check my other videos. Um, I did the Hyperflex 10 uh, video from them, uh, which is my Diamond X300 antenna. Um, and they also sent me the Extraflex Berry, which I use for the um, Serial Gain Master and the N uh, UK antennas NFED Half Wave. Um, there we go. So there's my, my picture of me and my little lad. Keep that on the desk. Um, so, yeah, uh, this is kind of a new addition, uh, which is my um, 
um, Yesu MD100. I've wanted one of these microphones for absolutely ages. Um, out of the two radios, I always really tend to use the 991 over the 73. Um, as you'll notice on the 73, uh, it's on a FT8 frequency there. That's mainly what I use the 7300 for. I am huge into FT8. I absolutely love that mode. Um, you know what I mean? I'm, I'm not the most social, sociable guy on the planet, so <laughs> you don't have to talk to people, so I'm, I'm more than happy just doing FT8. Um, but the ACU FT991, it's got a bit of a bad rep, this radio. And yes, mine finals were um, not set right, so it could have been a disaster. Um, but as I say, I mean, I only use low power anyway, uh, as you can see, 5 watts. Um, that's all I really need for what I use it for. Uh, me and Wayne usually talk on 70 on on Fusion as well. Um, and we're so close, we don't need any power anyway. Um, but yeah, it's been sorted, me and Wayne did that, I should have done a video on that really, but there's lots of information about how to set them, so it's not that big of a problem, uh, but yeah, this is the 991, I think I, I paid, I think about 550 quid for that, um, if you might have noticed that I, on my last video, uh, you can see the screw holes up there, this is where the Olinko DR135 was, um, so the way I used to do it, is I had my uh, gateways running and I also had the Alinco DR135 which had done 11 meters and 10 meters which went into a Zetagi B300P um, and that sort of worked perfectly for me. Yeah, no, go back and watch my old video if you want my old Shack Tour. I'll link it in the description. Um, but what I decided to do was get rid of the Alinco, get rid of the B300P, get rid of the gateway radios uh, the HRI 200 and everything, and then get the, the 991. Best decision I ever made. Absolutely love that radio. Fantastic. Um, you know, I can't, I can't sing its praises highly enough. This has been wide-banded. Uh, I don't use 11 meters. I mean, nothing against it. It's fantastic. I love listening to 11 meters, but I don't really sort of get involved in there. But if I wanted to, not that you're allowed to, I suppose, use uh, radios like this for 11 meters, but if I wanted to, I could. Um, and then obviously the 7300, fantastic, I've had this about 18 months now, um, absolutely brilliant radio, absolutely, I, I, I can't remember, I think I paid about 800 quid for that, uh, but it was like two months old, if or six weeks old when I got it, so an absolute bargain, um, you know, and I suppose even now it's probably worth close to that, with it's still got like six month warranty on it, so it's been absolutely fantastic. Uh, and then the Kenwood SP23, I've had that speaker for absolutely ages, uh, a long, long time. Um, and I use that with the um, Yesu 991, and then obviously the 7300, I hardly ever talk on it, so I, I don't have a speaker connected to that. Um, but the next goal would be, is the matching speaker for this, I think it's the SP10, um, which will fit here. That's the, that's the next job, and then the uh, Kenwood will go onto this one. And then the SP10 will work with the with the 991. So that's basically that. And then I've got my, um, you can see at the back here, I've got my, my Steam Deck for when I'm streaming. Uh, really, really good piece of kit. Um, there's my uh, FT1D, brilliant radio. So I, I use uh, hotspots here. Uh, to, now that I don't have my own gateways, I, you know, I like like most people, they use hotspots. So um, I also have the G7 RPG node. Um, I, my last video, check that, I'll leave a link in the description of my review on the G7 RPG node. So the way I use this one, a uh, quick sort of demo, um, I have it running like this. So I have my, um, let me just do it like, okay. Yeah, so I have my hotspot frequency on the top uh, in, in DN mode, and then I have the, um, sorry if it's not focusing, and then I have my echo link node, all star node on the bottom, so I can listen to both at the same time, or monitor them both at the same time, um, but yeah, fantastic. Um, and then I've got my Retivis radio, I'm not sure on the model number of this. And uh, I did use this to just just use the node by itself without having to use the, the FT1D. But obviously, you know, comparing radios, there's no comparison with the with the Retivis and the Yesu. So I prefer the audio quality, the microphone quality on there to use with the All Star node. But you know, it's got its own radio if I wanted to. Uh, the trusty um, HD1. I've had this radio absolutely ages. Um, the first review on the channel was of this radio, so I've had it about three years now. Um, absolutely brilliant and then I've got my ID31 which is um, just a 70 sems radio just um, standard 70 sems I think this is the plus two model so I think this is the latest uh, ID31 they do um, but absolutely beautiful uh, obviously the, the 51 would have been ideal because it's two and 70 
but I only ever use it for my hotspot anyway, and, and it works fantastic. Um, and then up here we've got my um, uh, photo frame with all my awards for my uh, FT8. Um, as I say, I'm hugely into FT8. If, you, if you've not tried FT8, I, I suppose most people have now, um, but it's, it's fantastic mode. It really, really is good. Um, I also try a bit of PSK and all that sort of stuff. I really enjoy it. And then these are basically my charging cradles for my radio. So we've got the Yaesu one here. Uh, this is the Alens HD one. And then this one is for the Retivis. And then the wire. I don't have a charge dock for the Icom ID31 yet. Or a spare battery. As you can see, I've got a couple of spare batteries for the uh, Yaesu. Spare battery for the Retivis and another spare Alens battery there. But on the uh, Icom, I don't have a desk charger or a spare battery. So that's next on the list. Um, another thing that I got is the Hamshack hotline. Now you might not have heard about this. I mean, I hadn't heard about this, um, but it's like a, a, a voice over IP service. Um, it's called Hamshack hotline. There's a, um, a YouTuber, you might have heard of him, Andreas uh, M0FXB. I'll leave a link to his uh, video uh, series, or oh, I'll leave a link to his channel. He's done loads of good videos. But he did a series on the Hamshack hotline, how to set it up. I mean, I could do one as well, um, but obviously he's covered it so well. So that's why I never really did a video on this one. Um, but it's fantastic. So you can get All Star on it as well. Um, and you can basically dial other radio hams like Wayne G0HIJ has got a hamshack hotline so we can call each other sort of privately or you can you can uh, use different reflectors node mic zero juliet so Kilo, this is tango connected this is the freestar network so if you if you googled freestar as i say i can leave a link in the description it, all, it has loads of ways of linking it. You can link it via, you know, Fusion, D-Star, DMR, Hamshack Hotline, and they just give you an extension number. And you dial that in, and now we're obviously connected. I think it's star 79 to transmit. Uh, obviously now it's just receiving, even though it looks like it's on, you know, on, the, on a call. Uh, but the audio quality on that is absolutely fantastic. Um, I highly recommend them. Um, they do offer don uh, accept donations for Hamshack Hotline, so uh, if you find it useful, you know, donate them a couple of quid. They are really, really good. Um, so that's that. So that's basically my my shack. Um, not a massive lot's changed. I suppose I got rid of the gateways, got rid of the um, uh, Alinko radio from up there, and the B300, which was here, uh, they're all gone now. Just consolidated it into two radios. So the way I use it. Um, my end fed half wave goes into the 73 which will give me uh, 10, 15, 20 and 40 meters and then my Yesu will give me 10 meters, 11 meters and 2 and 70 sems. So it's got two antenna ports on this radio so obviously every radio has got something connected to it. I don't have to swap about with anything uh, and it works absolutely fantastic. So yeah, hope you've enjoyed that. Uh, that was just a quick look around the shack. So yeah, we're in the we're in the garden now. So uh, yeah, not not a lot's changed since the since the uh, last update video. Um, it's very cold out here today. Um, but what we've done, um, this this pole, this spider pole, has been absolutely fantastic. So I've had that uh, about twelve months, maybe a bit longer now. Uh, and I've obviously got the Messi and Poloni uh, Extra Flex Berry. That's been working absolutely fantastic. So um, update on the um, uh, UK antennas. Uh, end fed half wave so that goes basically all the way up the pole like that you can probably just about see it um, and then it goes over to the house like that um, so I don't know how well it's coming up on the video um, but yeah on the pole I've not used Jubilee clips you see so the pole had dropped it with it because it's like a telescopic pole it had dropped in, inside itself a little bit so um, the HF Jedi, uh, big shout out to Wayne, G0HIJ, uh, my dad, he came round um, a couple of days ago when what we did is we took this pole down, it's only cable tied to the fence, um, so I've got it basically all through the fence and then cable tied, which works fine, um, so we took it down, um, re-put the pole out, re-taped everything, amalgamated tape for, to make sure it was okay, um, and then I waterproofed this up, it didn't need it, um, it, it really didn't need silicon, but I, I had it to spare anyway. Um, so I thought, why not? Um, but these boxes are fantastic. I checked the plug, you know, it's been up a year, so I took the, the plug out and it was absolutely brand new. Uh, no water had got into this at all. Um, but I just thought I might as well, you can probably just see it there. Um, I thought I might as well seal it up. Um, you know, it had a, a warranty sticker, but it's out of warranty now probably anyway. And as I say, you know, they're cheap enough to buy if I needed to buy another one. 
Um, he's fantastic, the guy from UK Antennas. I can't rate him highly enough. Um, so yeah, didn't need it, but I've, I've done that. So we, we did that, uh, basically put it back up and, and running um, and just got it going up the pole there. So uh, yeah, over to the, um, the 10 meter uh, Serio Gain Master. So this is the uh, Extra Flex Berry again. Uh, fantastic coax. I've, I can't rate this stuff highly enough. Uh, absolutely fantastic. And basically I've got that just cable tied um, to there. And that's the, um, you can probably just about see it going all the way up there. So that's the um, Serio Gain Master. Absolutely fantastic antenna. I use that for 10 and 11 meters. As I said, I don't really use 11 meters, but you know, it's there if I want it. Um, but as I say, me and Wayne, uh, G0HIJ, uh, we have a chat quite a lot uh, on 10 meters. You know, we're usually on around 29 decimal 150. So if you hear us about, um, you know, come and give a, come and say hello, but we usually have a chat on there. So fantastic for that. Um, and then all the excess coax. Um, I know it, you shouldn't really sort of loop it all up like this, um, but I've probably got, I don't know, a few meters more than I needed. And rather than chopping it down, um, I just thought I'll just loop it up and then it's it's there if I need to use it. You know, if water does get in the coax, I can chop it down and then I've, I've still got enough out here rather than chopping it down. It's so low loss um, that it, there's not really a big issue with it. And then, yeah, it just basically all the coax runs down the, down the garden like that um, and then goes all the way up like that. So yeah, it just goes all the way up to the top there. So the, the two runs of the coax goes up and over the house into the shack at the front. And then on the um, Diamond X300 antenna, uh, that's got Hyperflex 10, yeah, Messi and Poloni, fantastic. That's been up a couple of years now. Uh, and the X300 is a fantastic antenna. So that's basically the garden. Um, as you see, it's very, very small garden. There's not a great lot I can do with this space. Um, but you know, I, it, may, it works for me. Um, you know, obviously the uh, end fed half wave is there. Uh, I think, I can't remember that. I think it's 23 meters long, um, the wire. So it goes all the way up the spider pole, probably about 10 or 12 meters up there and then across to the house. So it's not the best um, setup I could have done really. You know, I could maybe do with like another pole somewhere and, and you know, do it that way. But uh, for the size of the garden I've got, it, you know, it works okay. So yeah, it's, it's you know, more than happy with it. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you really enjoyed that video. As I say, that was a nice updated shack tour. I like to put this on QRZ so that if people, you know, you know, doing FT8 or speak to them on, on the air, they check the QRZ, they can have a look at the shack tour. So I always make, you know, put this on there as well. Um, but let me know in the comments what you think. You know, is it, you know, what radios you have? How do you use it? You know, um, do you have a small sort of space? You know, I'm married, so I get like a little corner of the bedroom and, you know, I'm happy with that. Everything in this little space works perfectly for me. So, I've, you know, got to keep happy wife, happy life. That's that's the way to go. So let me know in the comments. Um, would love to hear your comments. Give the video a thumbs up if you like it or a thumbs down if you don't. Um, and let me know um, basically what you think. So thank you very much for watching. I've been 2E0 FNM and you've been very kind to watch 7-3.